Hi, I'm Richard, a support agent here at CalDigit, and I'm here today to tell you about the new Thunderbolt firmware update that's now available for the TS4, linked in the description below. This firmware update specifically addresses the TS4's disconnecting behavior appearing on M1 and M2 macOS devices when waking from sleep. If you have not experienced this behavior, there is no need to install this firmware update. Ahead, we're going to walk through the installation methods for this firmware update on both macOS and Windows. Chapters are listed below. There's also a written guide to this process in our knowledge base, also linked below. Let's do it. So how do you know if you have the latest firmware version? This update has already rolled out to the newly purchased TS4s. So if you got your TS4 recently, it's very possible that you already have the update. In which case, after checking your firmware version, no further steps are necessary. To check the firmware on macOS, make sure your TS4 is connected and powered on. Then navigate the Apple menu at the top left of the screen. Click About This Mac and then again to open your system report. From this window, scroll down to the section labeled Thunderbolt slash USB 4 and select the TS4 from the drop-down menu. You should now be able to see the firmware version. On Mac OS, this firmware version appears as 39.1. On Windows, you can check your firmware version with the Firmware Updater Installer. First, go ahead and download the package from our downloads website, linked below. Then, with the TS4 connected and powered on, run the file labeled CalDigit Thunderbolt Firmware Updater. Navigate through this window until you see the firmware version. On Windows, this update is 39.82. With that out of the way, let's get into how to update your firmware. In order to apply this firmware update on a macOS computer, the computer in question needs to be either an Intel-based Thunderbolt 3 Mac or an Apple Silicon-based Mac. That's an M1 or an M2 device right now. The computer will also need to be on macOS 13.1 or later. To begin, remove all connected devices from the computer and the TS4, including external monitors. Make sure your TS4 is powered on and connected to the computer. Download the firmware updater, linked below, and then launch it. Follow the installation instructions, and when that's finished, restart your computer. Once the computer has rebooted and you're logged in, you should see a macOS alert window at the top right of your screen. On that alert, select the Options menu and then Update. When you click this, the prompt will change, asking you to unplug your dock before plugging it back in. Go ahead and do this. Once your dock is plugged back in, the computer will start the update on the TS4 in the background. We recommend leaving the computer unattended during this time. This process may take up to five to eight minutes without much feedback, and when the update is complete, the dock will restart itself. Once restarted, the TS4 should then be on the latest firmware version. You can verify yourself by following the guide in the previous section. And that's all there is to it. Updating your TS4 on Windows is a straightforward process as long as your computer is compatible. Any Intel-based Windows computer on Windows 10 or higher that has USB-C, USB 4, Thunderbolt 3, or Thunderbolt 4 can install this firmware update. To update the TS4's firmware, please make sure that your dock is powered on and connected to your computer. Remove all other connected devices from the computer and the TS4, including external monitors. From there, go ahead and download the firmware updater if you haven't already done so, and then unzip the package. Run the program Intel Thunderbolt Software Installer to install and update your Thunderbolt drivers. After that, restart the computer and then launch the program titled CalDigit Thunderbolt Firmware Updater to update the TS4's firmware. Follow the installation instructions, and when it's done, power cycle your TS4. When it turns back on, the TS4 firmware should now be updated. You can double check the firmware version by launching this program again and clicking through until you see the firmware version listed. Congratulations, your TS4 is now up to date. And that's all there is to it. 
We hope you found this video helpful. If something did not go as expected and you're unable to install this firmware update, our support team would be more than happy to assist. On screen are ways to get in touch with some of our support teams, and there's contact methods for all of our international support teams in the description below. Please let us know if there's anything else we can do to help. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you have a great day.